hello friends uh, today i'm going to reveal to you how atoms are mostly empty space the proof of that first let's understand the statement nothing exists except atoms and empty space everything else is a matter of opinion this is what democritus said many many years back many centuries back uh, let us see how profound that statement is so when you you know that matter is actually composed of uh, uh, atoms and in atoms that itself is empty space uh, you can check that 99.9999999996% is actually empty space uh let us consider the hydrogen atom as shown here this is how the atom structure is it's got a center proton the main thing this is the core this is the core and the electrons are rotating around it this way uh you can see that the radius of this which is calculated is 0.529 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meter and the volume when you calculate using the formula 4 by 3 pi r cube it turns out to be 6.2 into 10 to the power of minus 31 meter cube so in that what is the proton radius let us see because electron doesn't contribute anything much it's only this core that's going to contribute so the volume of the proton itself is 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 45 meter cube this again is taken by the mensuration formula 4 by 3 pi r cube so how much of this thing this atom is actually made of material and how much of is is percentage full uh, so percentage full if you take 100% in that you divide the volume of the proton upon the volume of the whole thing this whole thing and when you observe that it turns out to be a shocking number 4 into 10 to the power of minus 13 and 4 into 10 to the power of minus 13 i have shown expanded it it's like here 0.0000000000004 so if you want to check the empty space it's 100 minus this and 100 minus this this is the figure we are coming coming to uh the proof of this theory was uh, thought of by ernest rutherford uh, the person you see in this diagram in this uh, picture this is ernest uh, rutherford who got the nobel prize uh, for this uh, revelation uh, in which he did an experiment with uh, gold foil uh, about the experiment we will talk about that in the next video i would just now like to move on to the actual consequences of the empty space of the atom so it looks like since atoms are mostly empty space the computer you are actually looking at is almost not there there is absolutely nothing so uh, it's something like this if we have this computer for example if this has got empty space and the empty space is as i have said more than 99.9999999999996% that means this whole thing is actually empty but then why are we actually seeing and why are we not falling through uh the reason for that is uh, something like this imagine that you have a fan here okay and fan has got three blades just like that and the blades are actually rotating uh at a certain speed so the fan blades are though the, the though the fan blade occupies only less than uh, 10% of the space uh it is uh, con- since it is continuously moving it occupies it g- g- creates an impression that uh, it occupies the whole place and that is exactly what is happening uh, in which i here have shown how the electrons are continuously moving around here uh so i will show it here in this diagram so since the electrons are continuously moving it creates an impression that 
everything there is uh, material all over uh, but in reality uh, as 99.999 that percentage which i told you is empty space uh, to know how serious the situation is if you remove the empty space from the atom then the entire human race could be fit in a single lemon or a sugar cube uh, this is something which is very very difficult to believe uh, if that is done naturally the density of the material will be so high that one uh, but such densities do exist in nature for example the one uh, like a neutron star the neutron star in a neutron star one teaspoon is 5.5 into 10 to the power of 12 kg so or one cricket ball would be 20 trillion kgs 20 trillion kgs which would possibly fit the entire human race so if you compare it uh, the atom to be the size of the uh, giant stadium then the nucleus would just be one single marble uh, so that is how so most of the things which we see is just an illusion and it is empty space uh, that we see around and 99.9999999999999996% of it is just plain empty space thank you for watching this video in my next video i'll be posting the rutherford's gold foil experiment which is actually the proof of the atom being so empty uh looking forward to seeing you all soon thank you goodbye good luck